फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन थियरी माई नेम इज मिलन शाह एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आर्किटेक्चर सो देर आर टू बेजिक एंड मेन आर्किटेक्चर विच आर वॉन न्यूमेन एंड हार्वर्ड आर्किटेक्चर सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉन न्यूमेन आर्किटेक्चर वॉट इज वॉन न्यूमेन आर्किटेक्चर सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज इट इज नेम आफ्टर द मैथमेटिशियन एंड अर्ली कंप्यूटर साइंटिस्ट जॉन वॉन न्यूमेन नाउ इन दिस आर्किटेक्चर द कंप्यूटर हैज सिंगल स्टोरेज सिस्टम विच इज मेमरी फॉर स्टोरिंग डेटा एज वेल एज प्रोग्राम प्रोसेसर नीड्स टू क्लॉक साइकिल टू कंप्लीट एन इंस्ट्रक्शन pipelining the instruction is not possible with this architecture now let's talk about this two clock cycle so in the first clock cycle the processor gets the instruction from memory and decodes it and in the next clock cycle it require data is taken from memory the required data is taken from memory now for each instruction this cycle repeats and hence needs two cycles to complete one instruction this is von neumann architecture now let's talk about harvard architecture it is named after harvard mark the old computer scientist the computer has two separate memories for storing data and program processor can complete an instruction in one cycle if appropriate pipelining strategies are implemented now in the first stage the pipeline of instruction to be executed can be taken from program memory and in the second stage of pipeline data is taken from the data memory using the decoded instruction or address so the basic difference is to get the program von neumann architecture cycle is needed and for data This is the second cycle is needed. In the Harvard architecture, we can get program and data within one cycle. One cycle for this, one cycle for this. So two cycle at a time, and in one moment, one cycle at a time. So Harvard architecture is better than one one moment architecture. So this is the basic difference. between these two architectures if you guys have any question then comment below or you can email me and that's it for now thanks for watching